Hello world. What is up everyone? Welcome back to today's video and welcome back to our little cozy relaxing corner on the internet. You know, it's funny, so many of you guys say that you find my voice so relaxing and so soothing. And I find that so funny because you know, you grow up hating your own voice, obviously. Who likes to hear their own voice on like the answering machine or, you know, if someone re records your voice and plays it back, you're like, oh my God, do I really sound like that? That's how I feel about my own voice, but you guys seem to love it. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Today, guys, we are talking all about rice in skincare, rice water, rice bran, rice bran oil, you know, different ways that you can use rice in skincare, rice extracts, rice powders. I mean, the list goes on and on. We're going to cover everything today. I also wanted to do a review of the brand new rice skincare line, an extension of one of my favorite skincare products, the I'm From Rice Toner. So that includes the rice mask, the rice toner, the rice serum, and the rice cream. Now, you guys might have already seen my Instagram reel I made about this skincare line. My skin, I mean, as you can see, literally glass skin. Spoiler, but no spoiler. Now, of course, rice has been used for centuries in medicinal and beauty treatments. And if you're a fan of Japanese beauty, J-beauty, or K-beauty, Korean beauty, you're definitely not surprised at seeing any type of rice in your skincare products. Now, a few different ways to use rice in cosmetics. There's rice water. There's also rice powder, extracts, and of course, there's rice bran oil. Now, those are the most traditional ways that you'll find rice used in cosmetics. And the products from the I'm From line actually contain all of these different breakdowns. So it's really interesting to see how they work individually and how they all work together to really improve your skin. Now I'm sure you've heard of rice water used for face and skin or maybe even rice water used for your hair. It can make your hair shiny, lustrous, and there's even some claims of hair growth. I'm not making those claims, but those claims are definitely out there. There's actually a few different ways that you can make rice water at home, and you can wash your face with it, you can use it as a beauty treatment, you can pour it in the bath. There's a couple of different recipes, maybe I'll try and link some down below. I know there's a really simple method where you can just combine rice and water, I think you leave it for a little bit. There's also another method where you boil the rice, separate the water, and use that as rice water. You can also ferment it to make it even more powerful. I mean, I haven't personally tried to make rice water, but I'm really interested in it. I feel like I would like to wash my face in rice water. Have you guys tried that before? Let me know in the comments down below. Or if you want to see me make rice water, I feel like that's a great video idea. Rice water contains tons of compounds that can give you more beautiful, radiant skin, or you know, what we would associate with radiant skin. Rice water is rich in vitamin A, vitamin E, carbohydrates, amino acids. It's incredible at hydrating the skin. It's also said to contribute to a healthy skin biome. And they know that if your skin biome is disrupted, that's when you can get things like eczema, redness, rosacea. So anything that you can use in your skincare routine to help restore your skin can also help to alleviate eczema, acne, redness, any of these kind of dry and itchy skin. Rice water is also great at skin firming and elasticity. So what this means is that rice water is actually able to inhibit the production of elastase. Now, of course, elastase breaks down the elastin in the skin, which gives you wrinkly, crepey, not firm skin. So if you're able to incorporate skincare ingredients that prohibit the creation of elastase, you can prevent the breakdown of elastin, preventing wrinkly, crepey skin. And one of the reasons why I really love rice and rice water in particular in skincare is that it can actually help to fade dark spots as well as prevent them from forming. Now, you guys know if you are an OG of my channel that I really suffer from sunspots. When I was younger, I spent a lot of time in the sun, and as an adult, I spend a lot of time correcting the sun damage that I did in my past. It's also one of my like key goals to stay out of the sun to really keep my complexion nice and clear because I am susceptible to those sunspots. Now what makes rice water so incredible in your skincare routine is that it can actually inhibit tyrosinate. Tyrosinate, of course, is what contributes to sunspots and darkness in the skin. So if you're able to inhibit that, you're also able to inhibit or prevent dark spots from forming. I mean, hello, incredible. And I should take a quick pause to mention to you guys that although rice has been used in skincare for centuries, there isn't a whole lot of clinical research done. Of course, clinical research is very, very, very expensive, and rice just is not one of those ingredients that companies are spending millions of dollars researching. But for today's video, I have pulled as many clinical studies, there are a few out there, so I have pulled as much information from those studies as I can, and the rest is of course just speculative based on, you know, 
the thousands of years that rice has been used and probably the millions of people that have used it. Now, one thing that we cannot dispute when it comes to rice in skincare is rice's ability to be an antioxidant. Now, of course, we love antioxidants in our skincare routine. Antioxidants are a very protective step in our skincare routine against outside aggressors like UV damage, pollution, dirt, things flying around in the air. Really, my biggest concern is UV rays. Not only do UV rays literally mutate your skin, but they also lead to a compromised skin barrier. And like I mentioned before, when your skin barrier is compromised, that makes you more susceptible to dry skin, irritated skin, itchy skin, eczema, rosacea, redness, flakiness, so using antioxidants in your skincare routine is very important to help protect also so is wearing a hat and spf but antioxidants are great at scavenging free radicals really helping to protect your skin from oxidizing turning brown like a wrinkled up apple doll now i also want to talk about rice bran rice extract rice powder rice bran oil you may have heard one of these terms or seen one of these terms in one of your skincare products this ingredient is rich in vitamin e vitamin b minerals, fatty acids, essential fatty acids, proteins, and ceramides. All things that are really going to nourish your skin. So really helping to calm the skin, soothe the skin, hydrate the skin. And something really cool about rice that I didn't even know is a rice bran actually contains 90% phytic acid. And what phytic acid does is it helps to exfoliate the skin. It says even more effectively than glycolic acid. Hello, I mean hydrating, soothing, and exfoliating benefits. Rice, I need like a full body rice wrap right now. And that kind of leads us right into, I want to talk about the I'm from rice line right now because it uses all of these different rice extracts. It uses rice water. It uses rice bran oil. So I've been using the I'm from rice skincare line for about a month now altogether. Although, like I said, I have used the I'm from rice toner for years at this point. Gosh, I want to say I definitely had it when I started my YouTube channel and I had it in my, my real life outside of this channel for years as well. So I've been using this, my gosh, I've, years. I don't want to date myself, but a really long time. So let's take a look at this skincare line. Let's talk about each product. Of course, I'll have everything linked in the description box down below. I want to cover price, ingredients, texture. Uh, you know, I have a lot of thoughts about things, so let's dive into it. This is the I'm From Rice Mask, which retails for $28. It's a leave-on face mask as well as a face scrub. It contains 4.1% rice extract, fermented ingredients which I love like Saccharomyces ferment filtrate. It also contains humectants like hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, which is better absorbed into the skin than normal hyaluronic acid. It also contains algae, shea butter, and argan oil, so very hydrating. You can see bits of rice in the formula that provide exfoliation. Now, the rice mask is meant as the first step in your skincare routine. The mask itself is very hydrating, and the rice is supposed to provide an exfoliation benefit. Now, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. This face mask is not one of my favorites. As you guys could see, the rice in the formula is pretty big, and for me, I just found it a little bit too abrasive. Even for an exfoliator, I prefer really finely milled exfoliators if I'm going to use a physical exfoliator. So the fact that these are just larger chunks of rice, just not for me. Although I do find the mask very hydrating and once you rinse it off, your skin is buttery smooth. I will say that. I will give it that. However, if you use any amount of pressure with your hands when washing this face mask off or if you actually just kind of use it as an exfoliator, the rice bits can be very sharp. So in my experience, I don't know, maybe I'm just very sensitive, but the face mask just wasn't for me. Next, we have the iconic cult classic I'm from Rice Toner, which retails for $28 for 150 mils. This toner is made with 77.7% .7 rice extract. It contains niacinamide and adenosine. This toner forms a protective barrier over the skin to prevent water loss, eliminates dead skin cells, and provides moisture for a brighter complexion. The texture of the I'm From Rice Toner is lightweight and watery. Before you use it, you definitely want to go ahead and give it a shake. 
this creates a really beautiful milky appearance. Now I always get so jazzed whenever I can talk about the I'm From Rice toner. I mean everything from the milky texture to the hydration. It is one of my favorite holy grail exfoliators, especially when it comes to helping control texture buildup and add hydration into my skincare routine at the same time. You guys know, self-proclaimed king of toners here on YouTube, come for me. I just love toners in my skincare routine. They work really well. They add that first layer of hydration and this just adds such a brightness, a luminosity, and deep hydration into my skin at a really lightweight level. I love the texture. I love the dry down. I love the feel. Immediately after using this toner, my skin is so much brighter. My complexion is literally glowing. If you've used the I'm From Rice toner before, let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you love it as much as I do because honestly, I can't get enough. Next up is the I'm From Rice Serum, which retails for $27 for 30 mils. This serum contains 73% rice germ fermented extract, which is rich in micronutrients. You guys know fermented skincare ingredients taken to the next level. This serum also contains niacinamide, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid again, as well as sodium hyaluronate, so very hydrating. It's also fragrance and alcohol free. The texture of this formula is a lightweight and has a milky appearance. Now, what I really love about this serum is the hydration factor. I do find it very hydrating, very soothing, and along with that niacinamide, also helping to counteract redness in my skin, like I just mentioned. Redness is something that I really suffer from. I also love that the rice germ extract is fermented in this serum. You guys know fermented skincare ingredients are just taken to the next level. So you get all the benefits of the rice germ extract, but even more, it does like the most. It's like, you know when you're out there doing the most? Fermented skincare ingredients, they're doing the most in the best way possible. Also something that I really love about this serum, which has nothing to do with the ingredients per se or even the effects, but it's a fact that you only need one pump to cover your entire face. You guys know a landmark for me in a good skincare product is if one pump or one push or one scoop delivers to the entire face and all the serum takes is one pump to coat the entire face really deep hydration. Instantly you can see that luminosity and also feel that deep hydration on the skin. So comforting, cooling, calming. If you have dry skin, this serum, chef's kiss. Lastly, this is the I'm From Rice Cream, which retails for $30 for 50 mils. It contains 41% rice water as well as rice bran oil, which is very hydrating. It also contains shea butter, synthetic beeswax, and ceramides. At first glance, the texture appears very thick, but as soon as you start to apply this cream, it melts away into the skin, leaving you with hydrated skin. Now, I was pleasantly surprised by the I'm From moisturizer. You guys know I'm very particular with moisturizers, and they're one of the things that I tend to try the most, and my list for like an effective moisturizer, I don't expect my moisturizer to do much, I should say, other than really locking in all of the serums, toners, ampules, anything that I put on my skin under the moisturizer, I really just expect the moisturizer to act as a good barrier on my skin. Now I also love a thick moisturizer but I love a lightweight texture so I find those two things don't always go together. You're thinking Trevor okay you love a thick moisturizer but you like a lightweight texture. Basically what I'm saying is I love a really hydrating cream that spreads very easily on the skin. There's nothing worse than when you get a really hydrating cream but it's so thick that you know you have to like spackle it back on the skin. No. I love a nice thick creamy moisturizer, but I like it to apply very easily. I like to just kind of glide it on the skin. I don't want to have to feel like I'm pulling or tugging. And the I'm From Rice Cream gives me exactly what I want. When you apply this on the skin, it is so hydrating. Look, I feel like I'm going to do it right now because I just need to show you guys. And when I tell you guys that this moisturizer gives you glass skin, okay, I really mean glass skin. Like, look, I'm going to show you guys just a little example. I won't even use like two, okay, I feel like this is a lot, but check this out. Where I'm going to put it right here and you watch this. My skin is going to become so, ah, okay, look, look, okay. Oh, look, the camera's like, Trevor, we can't even register your skin because it's so glass. Like, is she a mirror? Can you guys see your reflection in my skin? Oh, look, okay. I'm sad that in today's video, I didn't get to put on any skincare. You guys know that's one of my favorite things in every video, but look at this, okay. Need I say any more? This moisturizer to me is literally everything. It's definitely gonna be a repurchase. It's gonna be one that I try again and add it into my skincare routine. I can see a little Romeo hair, a little fuzzy attached to my skin. 
Boom. And speaking of Romeo, here he is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video all about rice and skincare, how you can use rice water for your skin, rice bran oil, rice extracts. If you've tried the I'm From Rice line before, especially the I'm From Rice toner, like today's video, it's a free way that you can help me out. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye, Romeo. Look, do you guys want to see him up close? Oh, look. My baby. Say bye, Romeo.